Get up close. Show everybody your face. That's you. Shocking, I know. Hello, my fellow sniffers and flighters. My name is Marlene McCohen. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I am showing you my life with birds. Why are we at the hair salon? I don't know. I'm just here and like, you know, the camera's an extension of myself. So I said, let's bring it out before we get to the good stuff. Plus, I always love embarrassing Jocelyn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> She's my, my go-to girl. But stay tuned because guess where we're going? We're going to see the baby today. And obviously I'll give you a before and after. This is the before. Pretty much this is about as bad as my hair looked. There was nothing to see. We'll see the after. What should we do? Curls? I don't know. Okay guys, here's the after. What do you think? What do you think? You did? Amazing. Okay guys, guess what? I'm in Varga with Rosie and I just like my pants were bothering me. <laughs> and she totally redressed me, okay? I just wanna explain, you guys gotta come in here. It's like, it's kinda like a pinup store but actually not really, they have everything else. Let me just show you how she dressed me. And then we're gonna go see the baby bird. But look how beautiful the store is. What do you guys think? You guys gotta check it out. Oh, and here's the thing, guys. They get bird prints, right? You're gonna get yes, some bird prints? Yes, we will get some bird prints for sure. Yeah, and for those of you who love other animals, this is how I knew she'd probably have bird prints. Check <laughs> it out. She has like all the cat stuff. So we're gonna check back next week and see what she got in as far as bird prints. We're holding you to that. <laughs> Guess what? Now we're going to the bird store. Oh, yeah, I do. She puts together some cool stuff. I like it. Again, lens. Yeah. Oh my god, my battery's gonna die. I have to. I don't even think I charged my other battery. So okay, today when we go to the bird store, though, I'm gonna try to answer some questions that you guys have been asking that I didn't realize would come up because you know when you're filming stuff by your Yourself, you don't know the things that people might want to know so I know it's been quite a few videos already because all my stuff is filmed in advance now thank you my flighters not just filmed in advance but like executed okay like those of you on my patreon like some of this stuff goes up five days early all right guys okay let's go let's go let's go all right we're here I know you guys are just as excited as I am every time I go there this bird grows I asked you guys on Instagram what questions you would like to know sorry for the noise because I realized in the comments that there's some things that are obvious to me but obviously I need to go over with you guys so I'm gonna try to go over some Instagram questions I was watching my video back I like to do that like get in the excitement with you guys like kind of even though I posted it like watch it after it's out and just see how I feel about it and I, I see like this joy in my face you know just this joy that like I get it why some of you are like you know you're just been without a spark without Picasso and I have no one will replace Picasso I think that's George calling to tell me he wants to come hello at the bird store I just got here you want to come oh come because my battery's dying I'll probably need your thing to film <laughs> okay bye Look who it is. Okay, maybe I have a little battery in this new battery, but I'm sure it's gonna die. Hurry up, this battery's dying too, hurry up. Hurry, 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 the battery's dying. Look, look how big the bird grew. Is that him, George, that's him? No, it's not, that's not him. How do you know? No, it's a different bird. <laughs> That baby is so such a Look, I come baby. in and she's like but over there like in the corner. Made from the same family, right? No, listen. No, it's not. She, I don't know. Why is everything so not zoomed in? What's wrong with my know, phone? Why? We've been emailing and I walk I in and she finds me today and I then she you. buys him today. She comes in and gets the other one. Oh, he was the one that was there? He was I the was one. I wasn't gonna buy. I was looking for a gala. Why are you looking for that? You're insane. I don't know. Look What's up? Like, hey, how are you? Oh, Give me five. Look who comes to see your baby oh, every no, day. Yeah, oh my God. I didn't, she you got it. Kid. Did you get to see her baby? Which one? Oh, um, the baby okay. lovebird? Look, look, look who's here. Oh, I should do my hands. Look, look at how cute you are. I can't. 
So you're saying this bird didn't get out of his cage and the other one is a troublemaker that got out of his cage four times. He has locked in all his doors now. He's not Okay, so you're like, you're not as smart as the other guy, huh? But that's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I offend you? Yeah? Okay, come over here. Oh my God. I can't. Oh, you're coming on the video today. Hi, Brando. Hey, buddy. Where did you name him? Brando. Oh, my God. Oh, do you know what they told me about your bird? What? That he's naughty and he broke out of his cage four times already. He can break out of his cage. So he can feed him to anything he wants. He's a smart bird for being that. What are you going to name him? I don't know. I don't know whether he's a male or female. See, for me, I don't care. <laughs> Look at the difference between them. Yeah, he's bigger. He's like lighter in the uh -uh. face, you see? That's why I think it's a female. That's why I... Which one is lighter? Mine? Yours. Yeah, I think it might be a female. No, well, I don't but know. They look just about... Oh! 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 You guys, did you see the cutest lovebird in the world? Look at baby mango. How special. Oh, it's a lovebird. How special oh is that bird? Oh my god, look at that little Hi there. baby. Are you gonna get it? Yeah, I gotta get cleaned up. She's been visiting him every day. Isn't he the cutest? The game is missing with daddy. Everyone wants to know when I can take him home. They have lots of questions just because they want to learn. Right? So some things they want to learn this is the funniest thing ever. Okay. My editor, shout out to Chris, he goes, how will you know if it's a male or a female? Because I named it Brando. I go, I don't know. I go, but if it has an orange beak, it'll be a male, you know? And he goes, hmm, it looks kind of orange to me. And I'm like, oh yeah, maybe I should clarify that it's going to change. <laughs> and then change back. So we have some questions. Like they want to know, one, why I can't feed it, which I, I don't, not something I want to do. I want to let the professionals do. And how long it takes for a baby bird to get to go home. Okay. Yeah. So number one, you said, why can you feed it? Yeah. Because to feed it, you have to feed them at the right temperature. You gotta know how to do it or you can hurt them. You know, you can hurt the rest of them. Yeah. So, and they need to be in an incubator when they're babies to give the yeah. right temperature. Yeah. So it's just stuff that you don't have. True. You know? Yeah. That's why we have to do it. And I don't want to get into that stuff either. Yeah. Honestly, you know, you I just never want to get into that. While the baby's here, that way we can watch and we're responsible for him. You know? Until he goes home. And what was the other question? The other question is how long does it take for him to get okay. to go home? So, it depends on the bird, but we wait for them to be fully feathered and completely eaten by themselves. After that, when the bird is fully feathered and completely, completely eaten by himself, then we let them, uh, we watch them for about five days and we weigh them, making sure that while he's eating by himself, he's not dropping them. He or she, we don't know. How long does it take to find out exactly if a mustache pair keeps a male or a female? Well, if you do a DNA <laughs> test, Three weeks. All right. Without a DNA test, oh maybe like 10 months. Yeah. In yeah. about 10 months, you know if he's a wife. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So how long, until, like, how long is that people want to know? Is that a month? Is that two months? How long to months? take him home? To take him home? Is that you, like, For from, example, from, from right now? A mustard. Since we get him, it's like six to seven weeks. Yeah. Around there. The bigger the bird, the longer it is. Yeah. If you get an Amazon, you're looking at three months. You get a Mohawk, you're looking five, even six months. So, so it really depends on the bird, but each one is different. Even though you could get the same type of bird, like let's say two from twenty years, and one goes home a month after. So it, it depends on them. We give on time, and they let us know when. Okay, I got one question. When can you take them home? <laughs> <laughs> Very soon. Soon. Guys, I just turned on my Instagram and saw the funniest comment from Pancake Winter White. What's up? It said, it's coming. Will Jersey know it's Picasso or will she start dating? The will you baby? call me? <laughs> dating? First of all, um, I think uh, Jersey is actually. Uh, not really with because because it is with Jersey. But she loved him. She loved him. But I showed her a video of him, oh. and she What'd was you like, do? "Hi, 
and she was like up kissing it. Oh, no way. But the thing is that um, before I turned on the camera, she was really into it, which I didn't get to show because I had to like turn it on oh. my stuff, you know? Jersey's in the cradle robber. <laughs> I can't. I'm dying. That's the funniest thing. Indigo Moon wants to know Does the bird know he hit the jackpot of homes? Do you know that you hit the jackpot of homes? Oh, he's listening. He's like, wait. So cute. SS George wants to know if I have to hand feed it when I bring it home. No, probably not, but he might need like a little guidance with hand feeding. Not like the way they hand feed it, but just the way he doesn't eat on his own. But they, they waited like five days, he said, to make sure that the bird knows how to eat on his own. Oh, you guys are asking about monkey. Monkey's a Jardine parrot, and monkey belongs to the store and lives here. So monkey, that's why Jenna can't get monkey. Another thing you guys might be wondering. Somebody asked me actually. They said they worked in a bird store. I so wanted to give you a shout out, but my battery's dying. And you said you work in a bird store, and you wonder about people just coming in and just buying a bird real fast. I thought that was a really good point. Definitely everybody that I meet that watches like my videos, they've usually been watching my videos for a while and all the kids that come to my shows are always like, I want a bird but I'm not ready. I've been, you know, studying for a long time, watching your videos. I am like, wow, like, you kids are so smart because like when I wanted a bird, that kind of stuff wasn't available. So I just want to say, keep doing that guys. Always study, learn. A bird is not something that you can just go in the store and come out with. Your whole family has to be on board. And actually sitting here every day, I'm seeing so many people coming in with that knowledge, which is amazing. And also I'm sitting here discussing with kids that we see want birds, how hard it is and educating them as well. So that's been a good opportunity for me too. What's going on, are you? It's almost time for you to go. Guys, and so some of you are asking me what I meant by he's a sniffer. It's like birds that get in sniff position and they just let you. Yeah, he just lets you sit there and sniff it. Mm -hmm. That's what that is. Making this a little bit unstable and making this more stable. Good bird. Letting it go. Good bird. What do you think? You're only interested in my nails? I bet you're interested in my eyelashes. Remember how I always say none of my birds care about my nails? This one's obsessed. Oh, good. Okay, the other thing is, see, he needs like a toy to replace this behavior right away. Get up close. Show everybody your face. That's you. Shocking, I know. So he smells really good now. And he's the cutest thing in the world. That's a fact. He stretches a lot. I just love him. So I already taught him to step up, which is amazing. I don't want to wear him out too much, you know, because still a baby, so like it's exercise, you know, them stepping up. Are you already gonna be the kind of bird that wants to talk on camera? Can I kiss? 